on guys, it's Wispin here and I am back with another video and today I am back here on the Poke Central server. If you guys do want to join me on the server, there is a link down in the description to how you can actually download and install Pixelmon and the server IP is pokecentral.org. So basically in this episode, I think all we're really going to be doing is trying to train up our Charmander a little bit, maybe keep an eye out for some cool Pokemon that we can catch and definitely trying to hatch this egg so we can see what Pokemon we actually got from our random egg. It is looking like it's gonna hatch sometime soon. Let's go ahead and check the egg steps. Egg steps to 2,000. Okay, so we're about uh, two thirds of the way there. I think we started off with around 6,000 steps on this egg. So I have no idea what it's gonna be. We'll find out hopefully in this episode. I actually have six vote keys. And the reason I'm actually showing you guys this is because we added something brand new. I actually added it a couple of hours ago. So not very many people have even had the chance to see this. If you go ahead and warp, warp crates, I think, there we go. So it'll take a second to load up here because we are switching to the spawn world, but there we go. We got our vote keys. If you actually open up your vote crate, not only do you get your normal rewards, which there we got two ultra balls, but you also receive 50 claim blocks for every single vote crate that you guys open. So a lot of people were asking me, how can you get more claim blocks? This is one method that we've added in order to help make that a little bit of an easier process. You also get 120 claim blocks for every hour that you're online. So it's two claim blocks per minute that you're online on the server. So if you just play, you'll gain them over time and you'll eventually have more than you could ever use. So let's go ahead and open up the rest of our vote crates. There we go, we've got two more Ultra Balls, 2,000 coins, uh, Bulldoze TM, that's interesting. Two more Ultra Balls, I'm really hoping we get something rare. Let's go ahead and take a look at these rewards before we open up this last one. So we can get two Ultra Balls, Rare Candy, 2,000 coins, Random TM, Random Held Item could be useful. If we get like an EXP All or a Lucky Egg, that would be really helpful. Uh, random Pokemon egg, colored name tag, master ball, and rare key. I would, I would love a rare key. Let's, let's go ahead and open this last one up and see what are we gonna get? A psychic TM. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. The TMs are nice, and all the TMs that you get from the vote crate are really, really good TMs. Like bulldoze and psychic, they're both pretty good. So we'll use them at some point, probably not right away, but I'm sure eventually we'll find a use for them. Let me go ahead and toss these into my ender chest just to keep them nice and safe in there. Now these Ultra Balls are going to come in very handy if we do want to try to catch some more Pokemon. So I guess the goal for the rest of this episode is just maybe try to catch a couple Pokemon, train up our Charmander. I hope we can evolve them into a Charmeleon in this episode. I think that's level 16, so it shouldn't be too hard. We could actually rare candy them halfway there to 13, but I think I'm going to hang on to these rare candies for a little while. All right, let's see. Level 8. Can we kill this level 8 Starly? Oh, no, I forgot to heal. Let me let me heal up real quick with Poke Kibble, and then we'll take on the level 8 Starly. There we go. Okay, so Ember, let's see. Is that going to do... Okay, not bad, not bad. We did a little bit of damage there, and we got him burned, so we took him out, and no experience. Darn. <laughs> well, we got experience, just not enough to level up. Level 44, not gonna happen. It looks like these little birds are the, our best option. It looks like most of them are kind of low levels. Level 12, we might be able to do that. Level 5, I, I like that. There we go. At least we know we're gonna guarantee taking this guy out. Now, with my crates that I've opened and just defeating some NPCs, I think I do have quite a few coins, 4,200. I think a lucky egg cost around that. Let me let me head over to the store real quick, warp shop, and we can see if we can purchase the lucky egg. That'll help us out quite a bit with leveling up. That is, that'll double all the experience we gain. So I think it's under training items. How much does this thing cost? 8,800, okay, I was, I was pretty far off. It actually cost twice that much. So I think on certain days you can actually get it for 8,000 on good days. So that could come in pretty handy if we could get it the price down to 8,000. Uh, but yeah, we're not getting that anytime soon. Maybe a couple more days of vote keys and we'll be there. Let me go ahead and drop these feathers. But let's do slash, slash back. That's actually a command you guys should have access to. It actually works now. It didn't work in the last episode. I got it fixed. Um, but yeah, there are a ton of Pokemon spawned around here. So let's just run around and maybe try to find some Poke loot and gain some level. Okay, level nine. Let's let's heal up real quick and let's battle this Starly. Here we go. And Ember looks like Ember does pretty good against these guys. Here we go. Still no more, no more levels. Let's try this Ekans. There's actually a lot of low levels here too, which is really helpful. Uh, Ember is that gonna do half? No, didn't even do half. Ooh, he hit me pretty good there. I think we should be able to take him out. Just one more hit, one more to go. And there we go, okay, did we level up from that? No, okay, wow, we are just in a rough spot. Let's see, how close are we? To okay, we're almost leveled up. One more Pokemon and we should level up. Level 10, Starly, let's go. I should have healed, what am I doing? I don't know. 
Oh, that was a really good shot. I think that was a crit. Oh, we have one HP. We have one HP. Oh, no, he used quick attack. No. Oh, I'm... <laughs> And since we faded before him, that means we didn't get the experience. Oh, that really sucks. Okay, let me let me poke the kibble up. That's my bad. I should have healed before I got into that fight. Um, there are just a ton of Pokemon around. Is this the spawn rates for everyone? Is it always like this, or is this is this insane? Because it feels like it's pretty insane. And if this is how it is for everyone, I probably should turn down the spawn rate slightly. Because this is a little bit crazy. There's kind of too many Pokemon to handle right now. Uh, level seven. Okay, should be good to go here. I really love the new Mareep model. It's really nice. Level 12. Okay, there we go. Four more to go. I might go ahead and just waste these rare candies once we hit level 13, just so we can get them evolved as soon as possible. Let's head on out this way. We might as well explore a little bit while we're at it. It seems like there's enough Pokemon going around, so even if we run in a straight line, it seems like there's going to be quite a few Pokemon all around us. All right, guys, I am so amazed by the amount of Pokemon that are spawning around me. I have decided to pillar up into the sky and take a look around. Look look at how many. There's so many. So many Pokemon. This is like overwhelming. There's like 10 Pokemon just in this little corner of the, the world. And there's more here. We got just so many. Ooh. Doesn't that evolve into a Blissey? I think I think Hapini. Is that how you say it? I think that evolves into Blissey. I'm just trying to look around to see if there's anything rare spawned in. That, is, that must be kind of rare. We might... Actually, I think I want to go after that because baby Pokemon have three perfect ivs guaranteed so if we catch that and train it up into a blissey that's going to be a pretty insane pokemon um doesn't look like there's too many pokemon over in the water we got some zangoose a uh, ponyta that's a pretty cool pokemon um i, I complete what is his name i, I don't remember for it there's more pokemon over there what is that thing i can't quite see i think it is that a drift bloom or i don't know i can't see because it's inside the grass block uh geez oh even over there under that house there's a ton starlies hopips oh an arbok a lot of that's a shiny that's a shiny that's a shiny don't die don't die oh two hearts oh my god guys oh my god because that yeah, yeah yeah it has the shiny particles it's centric what does centric evolve into what is what does centric evolve into it evolves into Oh, geez, that's embarrassing. I have no idea what it evolves into. Uh, Furret? Does it evolve into Furret? I think it evolves into Furret. And isn't Furret shiny? Isn't it pink? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, that's pretty cool. I was actually not expecting to find a shiny. Catching this is going to be rough. This is this is going to be interesting. Let me first just try to throw a Pokeball at it. If we catch it first try, that's going to be insane. But I don't think it's going to happen. I think it's just going to pop out straight away. Yeah, it popped out straight away. Oh boy, I feel like this is going to go extremely, extremely poorly. Let me hop into battle with it real quick, and we can try scratching it. Okay, that didn't do too much damage. Let's not hope for a crit. Let's get it down to red if we can. All right, there we go. It's in the red. Let's let's try an Ultra Ball. Let's just see if this works. Are the catch rates on the server okay? Yes? Yes? Oh, we got it. We got it. Guaranteed. Yep. Dang, and it's going to announce in the chat, and everybody's going to be like, abuse, abuse. <laughs> There are just so many Pokemon here. Like, I, I seriously have to ask you guys, when you're on the server, do you guys see this many Pokemon? Look look at this. This is this is absurd. This can't even like if I check my FPS right now, I'm getting 30 40 FPS on if there's no Pokemon around me in the game, I'm getting normally 300 to 400 FPS. So this is destroying my computer right now. Uh but dang, like what is this? I am actually amazed by the amount of pokemon that are spawned in i can't get over it i think is this what is this what center evolves into i think it is there's just so many i can't it's overwhelming the amount okay okay i'm gonna i'm gonna stop freaking out about how many pokemon are around me and we're gonna take a look at this sentry here so honestly i don't know how good of a pokemon it is like uh for it I'm going to be extremely embarrassed if it doesn't evolve into fur. I have to look it up real quick, just because I need to be sure. Because if it doesn't evolve into fur, it... Okay, it does. It does. It, it evolves into fur at level... Level... What level? Level 15. Oh, that's that's four levels away. We could get it in this video. I'll probably hold off on that, because I do want to train up my Charmander first. But, okay, now I just have this beautiful pillar here. I, I need to take that down at some point. Um... Okay, I'm, I'm overwhelmed by what's going on right now. There's just too many Pokemon around me to even know 
what Pokemon I should be battling. Ember, is this going to work? Yeah, okay, we should be able to take him out and get some good experience off of him. I think we'll level up here. Oh, jeez, almost killed him. There we go. Level 13. Uh, drop all. I don't... Actually, the berry. Can we plant this berry? I think we can. Let me let me try planting this over here in my claim. Yeah, we can. So I guess that'll... That'll grow. I don't know how long it takes for berries to grow, though. I'm pretty sure it's a really, really long time. All right, let's go ahead and throw out this Pokeball. So with the amount of Pokemon, I really do enjoy it. It's really nice having this many Pokemon around, but I feel like considering I normally get 400 FPS and here I'm getting 40... If you have a computer that normally is getting 40 FPS, then you're probably getting like 4, four FPS or less when you're in an area like this. So I might want to reduce the spawn rates because of that reason. I feel like a lot of people probably can't even walk around when too many Pokemon spawn around them. Um, and this is just absurd to me. If we find another shiny, I'll just freak out because this is insane. I, I really do love this new model for Mareep. I might catch one just because of the model. And I'm pretty sure Mega Ampharos, yeah, Mega Ampharos is in the game, which could be cool to have one of those as well. Um, what is this little guy here? Actually, I actually have no idea what you evolve into. Interesting. Those Gen 6, 5, 6, 7, I have no idea anything about those generations. Um, Meowth. Yeah, okay, so let's, let's try to get, uh, actually, you know what? I'm in a good mood now that we caught that shiny. So we're going to pop these rare candies onto our Charmander. And we're just going to get him up into a Charmeleon. If I'm right, he evolves at level 16. So, boom. Dragon Rage. Okay, I, I wanted Dragon Rage. Dragon Rage is a pretty good move for low-level Pokemon. But there we go. Going to get ourselves a shiny Charmander. Uh, we're definitely not getting a Charizard anytime soon. Because I'm pretty sure that's level 36. So we got a, a long ways to go for that. But at least we got ourselves a shiny Charmeleon now, which is going to be pretty cool. And actually, he gets he gets smaller, which is interesting because when Pokemon evolve, they normally get bigger. But for some reason, Charmeleon gets smaller. Um, either way, let's take a look at this guy because he is pretty cool. And I'm sure not everyone has seen a shiny Charmeleon before. But there we go. I really love the particle effects, too. I wish more Pokemon had particle effects. All right, this egg, this egg. It's got to be close to hatching, right? Egg steps to... Oh. Let me, let me re-log real quick. Let me just go ahead and jump off and jump back on and see if maybe we can get that updating. Because it definitely would have hatched by now if the steps had been updating, but it looks like maybe they glitched out a little bit. So let me try to check that again. Egg steps to 1990, egg steps to... Okay, there we go. So now it's updating. That kind of sucks that it wasn't updating the whole time because I'm pretty sure it would have hatched by now. Uh, but that's fine. We'll, we'll try to get it hatched. Actually, I'm going to head to... Is it Warp Hatch? Is that a thing? Oh, that's not a thing. I need to add Warp Hatch as a thing. Yeah, <laughs> remind me to add Warp Hatch as a thing if I forget to do it. If you don't see it on the server in the next day or so, just, just make sure to go ahead and message me and remind me to add that uh, because that definitely should be a thing. Um, all right, we got Warp Info there, Warp Biomes. No, Warp General, is it here? No, okay, yeah. So I definitely, definitely forgot to add that. If you guys have any other warps that you think need added to the server, I'm pretty sure I need to add one for Casino. And probably a few other places. Just let me know and I'll, I'll make sure to get them added after I get done with this video. Which, if, okay, that, that made no sense. Because if you guys are watching this, then obviously I'm done with the video. I'm going to jump on this track and just let it hatch the egg for me. I feel like that'll be the best way to go about things. Oh! <laughs> I'm the one that placed this and I totally forgot about it. Here, let me let me try to grab it while we're on the track. Can I grab this Poke loot? Come here. Oh, no, I missed it. This is going to be tricky. Oh, you already claimed this loot. I just got it. Okay. Uh, Shockwave team. That is absolutely terrible. Um, okay, cool. So we're going to pick those back up, even though I just tried to throw them on the ground. That's fantastic. This egg actually is hatching really fast. Let me check. Egg steps two. 1,400. Okay, so I'm going to cut here, let it hatch, and we'll see what we get out of this random egg. All right, guys. So we are about 20 steps away from hatching it at this point. So I went ahead and jumped off the track, and there we go. We got a Voltorb. Okay interesting so we didn't have an electric pokemon so i guess that's okay it is level one which is kind of rough it's gonna take a while to train that guy up but either way interesting pokemon i probably wouldn't have caught one out in the wild so i guess it's nice to get it from an egg let me go ahead and collect my daily pokey kibble just so we can kind of stack up on this stuff because it is going to come in handy over time if if i start forgetting to collect it then i'll just have a bunch of it stored up and actually uh, since we only have 49, I'll keep it in my inventory for now, but in the future, I'm probably just going to store the extra in my ender chest. Let me toss that in there for now. I don't think we're ever going to need Shockwave as a TM, uh, but we can definitely keep it just for the time. Maybe we'll sell it or something. Actually, 
Actually, it's not a bad idea. Let's see, how much does this TM actually sell for all of my TMs? We don't need them right now, and we do need money to buy a lucky egg, so maybe... Maybe we could sell these TMs and afford a lucky egg. Let me see, how much do they sell for? Uh, okay, Shockwave, 800. We got f I think if we sell... Yeah, okay, there we go. So we sold those TMs. Pretty terrible deals, not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure the TMs cost like 20,000 each, but either way, we can get ourselves the Lucky Egg. And I know, I think it can be cheaper on certain days, but I'm gonna buy it anyways, just because I can't be bothered to wait. Uh, so all of our money down the drain, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and put this on our Charmeleon for now. And I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this video here. So we've made some progress. We get ourselves a shiny Pokemon, which is insane. Probably the only shiny Pokemon I'm gonna see all season long. And we got ourselves, well, we already had our shiny Charmeleon, but that didn't really count. We caught our first wild shiny. And then we have a Magikarp of Voltorb. Probably gonna wonder trade this Magikarp at some point, just because I'm not really too interested in keeping it around. And in the next episode, hopefully we can go out and try to catch a ton of Pokemon. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to catch 10 to 20 Pokemon in the next episode. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you didn't enjoy this video, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on the video. If it hits, if it hits, you know what? Let's let's do something here. I don't I don't necessarily like doing the whole giveaway things anymore. I'm kind of over that. Um, and I'm definitely not gonna make subscribing a requirement for anything that I do in the future. I did that in the past and I'm, I'm just kind of not really into that anymore. I feel like if you guys subscribe to the channel, you should do it because you enjoy the content. Um, but what I was gonna say is if this video hits 100 likes in the first 24 hours, I'll go ahead and this weekend coming up, I'll go ahead and put times two shiny rates here on the server as a celebration for us catching our first ever shiny. So I can kind of give back to you guys. We got a shiny. Maybe you guys will have a better chance of getting shinies this weekend and uh yeah so just like the video if you did enjoy and i will see you guys next time